Is work sponsorship or getting married for a green card better? Ooh, that's a tough topic. It really, of course, depends what you're eligible for right now. Uh, folks joke around about this or not should only say, you know, if you get married, it's going to be faster if you get married to a U.S. citizen. Yes, that is true, especially these days where there's fortunately some cases have the interview waived. Can you believe that? We just had our first one, I believe, last month. So that was wonderful news. The person was out of Chicago, lives in Chicago area, and got away, which is great because Chicago has a lot of cases. <clears throat> I believe that's a testament to our team and our proven checklist <clears throat> of evidence. Now, here's the deal, folks. People nonchalantly suggest getting married to a U.S. citizen as the best way. But the legal reason why it's the best way is because generally it's one of the fastest. Now, let's just put it, you know, like if I had to put a number to it, I would say average 12 months. Sure, you could do self-petition through employment or national interest waiver. That could take less than 12 months. Um, I've had some marriage cases take less than 12 months, but I'm, we don't say that to everyone because it could be a fluke, right? We don't control the government timing. It's on them. What we can tr control is our own internal timing processing internally so we can file your case, which I'll talk more about that later. We do offer three different service levels based on primarily based on timing to file. Uh, but in terms of work sponsorship, y'all need to get ready. If you have a college degree or if you have a you have OPT or if you're in uh, HR, a recruitment for a company, you need to get ready for this. Or you're a PEO, uh, I believe you call that performance employment organization. What we do in a consultation one-on-one -on -one is review your job type, your job description, is very thorough and we want to make sure that you're even qualified. Yes, we have to check that for you uh, because even if you did, do get selected, it's a two-step process, okay? That doesn't mean you're automatically approved. After you get selected towards the end of March, we'll get that notification. And then before the end of June, you have to file the actual H-1B visa application package with the evidence, not just the form, all right? And some hot tips right here. If you don't have the degree actually yet, it's okay. I know it sounds very strange because the requirements say that you, you need a degree, but actually you could be about to graduate and complete your studies. So it's okay. Timing-wise, you can still register in March. It's only $10 for the government with USCIS. With us, we charge $7.99 just for that part. Of course, if you do get selected, fortunately, then we do have other plans to upgrade per se. All right, for the next steps. TN visa is basically a profession, a visa for professionals, but only for, pe for people based uh, country nationality from Canada or Mexico. And this is based on NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement from a long time ago. So unfortunately, it's not for other countries. I wish there was something better like that uh, for other countries. And it's better in a sense if you're from that country because the schedule interview much more quickly it does not require number one it does not require prevailing wage so employers even though you will get paid of course um, i would suspect more than minimum wage i can't guarantee for that future employer but also because depending on the year because of inflation uh the salaries increased for the prevailing wage so some companies were not as willing to sponsor people in general, let's say H-1B or anything else, but TN visa does not require that. And plus for employment-based like EB for residency or people call it PERM for permanent residence uh, based on employment, that requires a step that no one likes and that's called labor certification. On average or really minimum, it takes eight months, eight freaking months. That does not include for the petition, that does not include for recruitment time or their cooling off period after that. So EB takes on average about two years, okay? And that is if the law firm that you hire or the employer's law firm is on top of it. Uh, so anyways, if you're from Canada or Mexico, consider TN visa. But again, that's also for a very restrictive. It's available for like even graphic designers, but also available for mostly medical professions but it's, there's a lot more occupations, not just medical. So I can share that list with you. All right. So uh, as always, here's a free guide that you can see on uh, YouTube and Facebook channel right there. Most popular one is about suing the government mandamus. If your case 
if you have an unreasonable delay, if your case is taking way too long, don't wait, folks. Take action. Do not wait. Okay. Thank you so much. And y'all have a wonderful day.